Another brick fan here with a brickhead set. This is Jake Sully and his avatar. This is set 40554, was released in October 2022. It has 246 pieces and cost about $20 when it was released. This is one of several Avatar sets that have been released in 2020. They did re-release the original Avatar movie in the end of 2022 and came out with a new one, The Way of Water, also at the end of 2022. So let's go ahead and put these two brickheads together and then take a look at the finished brickheads. Here are the two brickheads that come with this set. The two are, now both of these brickheads are Jake Sully. Of course, the first is Jake in his wheelchair here, and I really like the wheelchair. The, the wheels even move. We'll get a closer look at that here in a second. And then here is Jake in his avatar form. And what I do like about this is this brickhead is one brick taller than normal. You take a look, those legs are two one by two bricks, and they're normally about one one by two brick or perhaps a one by two brick and a plate. So let's take a look at each of these individually, starting with uh, Jake in his human form. Here's Jake in his wheelchair. And what I really like about this one is the fact that he has this very short hair. This is one of the few brickheads that doesn't have a base plate. And I think it was really interesting that it actually has moving wheels on the wheelchair, which I thought was uh, pretty well done. Notice he's wearing these sand blue pants here, so you can see his legs up here along the side. His arms are actually on hinges, which is also unusual for brick heads, but that gives him the, the ability to have those arms out wider so they don't interfere with the wheels. Very short cropped hair because he's a you know ex-marine, likes to keep his hair in that nice high and tight look. You can see the back here of the wheelchair. It's got that little smooth area there. Of course, moving around to the other side, once again, we have the wheels for the wheelchair. The arm here is on a hinge to allow it to be outside of the wheels of the wheelchair and not interfere with that. So very nicely done. I think it's a little, might be a little bit taller than a normal brick head just because of the wheelchair base. So that makes it kind of more difficult to tell how tall his avatar is. Let's go ahead and take a look at Jake in his avatar form. So here's Jake in his avatar form, or the avatar for Jake as one of the people. And if you see here, he's got this nice printing here, which has uh, this like bandolier or kind of small leather accessory or belt that he has around here and kind of the loincloth look down here in this nougat color or light tan color. The spear is nicely built with a couple of these post pieces and then a couple of these connector pieces here. Then there's a couple of flowers that are just done with one of these robot arm clips. And of course, just a blade that you normally see that has been around for a while. The headband has these teeth in this 
kind of dark tan, darker tan color. I like the yellow eyes that of course have a little bit of extra detail with the whites and then the black you see there. So the normal whites you would see in the eyes, but then it has that black underneath it just to make it a little more distinct. He's got a little sand green here under his mouth there. I do like the fact that there are prints here on the sides as well. So he's got an armband, as you can see here. He has the long braid there on his hair in the back and then a tail back here as well. This brown piece down here kind of gives the impression of the loincloth that he's wearing. So it's got the kind of the tan and then the more brown down here. As I mentioned in the beginning, he does have these longer legs. So they're two full bricks tall. These are, like I said, normally are just one brick tall on most brickheads. So that makes it for a taller brickhead. Overall, I think it turned out really nicely. And again, I'm very appreciative of the three printed pieces, the three printed tiles for the arms and for the chest there. Always good to get these two packs of brick heads and these I believe turned out quite well. I believe this is the only time that we got a brickhead pack that is actually the same character represented in two different ways. Now, of course, they look very, very different because Jake is both human and he has an avatar. So it makes, makes sense that these would be bundled together, but they do did turn out very nicely. A couple of, you know, the distinct features, we do have an actual working wheelchair here. So no base for this particular brickhead. Uh, it doesn't really, you gotta push it to make it move, but if it was on a slope or something, you couldn't, you have to make sure your shelves are level to keep that on there. Lots of good detail on the avatar figure with the, you know, the yellow eyes probably being one of the most obvious that you see with brickheads since they are almost always done with these black eyes with the whites on them. So nice to see a different view there. Of course, brickheads have been very consistently priced. So this two full-size brickhead set is priced at $20. Looking at the price per piece, it's 246 pieces. So definitely under that 10 cent per piece. Of course, I think brickheads are a really good value and I, I very much appreciate the fact that they have always been the same price. They've been consistently about $10 per large size brickhead. So if you get packs of two or four or five even, they're gonna be about $10 a brickhead. And then they also have the, you know, what I would call the half size or smaller size brickheads. And those are usually at about a $5 price point. So very, very consistent in the pricing of brickheads and I think they are a really good value. So I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this Brickhead set. I'm going to get started on my next video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I've left a link to my other Brickheads reviews up here on the screen.